And of course, we'll shift gears from that story and the national badminton team to the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow that will be held in Glasgow has been training at the Moy International Sports Centre Kasarani. And despite the challenges, they are hoping to rise above those challenges and better their 2010 results. The badminton players to the 20th Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, Scotland, are a mix of fresh blood and veterans keen on improving their previous performances. Victor Deramunga is the most experienced of them all, as he will be taking part in his third Commonwealth Games. International matches are normally very tricky because you meet players who play international events every week. So the juniors need a little more of advice from those who've been out there in terms of uh, coping with the pressure out and uh, the discipline of court. Odera, who hopes to venture into coaching in the near future, admits that the sport continues to face numerous challenges, which include lack of enough events to gain experience and exposure for the players. So the, the only way out is to bring the numbers in. The moment we have players training from Mashinani, you know, then they are, you know, just open, getting them to know that there's a sport called badminton. It starts from somewhere. It is supposed to be left for the highlight schools. 22-year-old Marcy Joseph will be representing Kenya for the second time at the Games, having had her big break in the 2010 Games in India. She will be joined in the team by Lavina Martins and Sheila Wanjiro, while Simon Odundo takes care of the coaching aspect. Well, I would say I've become way better than I was in 2010. I've trained, so yeah, I'm better now. We well, better use the two weeks that uh, we have here in the residential camp to be able to have... Uh, an ability to correct our errors and also improve on our areas of weaknesses. The team is expected to depart for Scotland on the 17th of this month. <laughs>